Yo, what's up guys? Today, I wanted to say some stuff before the video started. Um, I was going to wait for my tripod to get here and the ring light because it'd probably be better quality for the video. But honestly, I've got so much more stuff, new stuff that, new products for my animals and I've got like one new animal, one or two new animals that I I just, I couldn't wait anymore. So I almost have to show you now without the ring light and the tripod but as soon as i get here i'm gonna make a video called feeding my animals at midnight and giving them water so stay tuned for that but for now let's just get through the tour so first let's start with this shelf um first let's start with the curly hair tarantula get him down so we open this up uh, i want to come out where are my tweezers Guys, oh, here they are. So, we can actually try to feed this guy as well. Um, trying to get a crit. All right, so, gotta get him off the side. So, this is the curly hair tarantula, you know, off the side of the cage. I can actually try to feed him real quick. You get it, Tarantula? Oh, and I'm gonna try to um, get it back to him. Sorry, there was a random cut there, and my brother walked in. And so I had to cut. Um, let's try to feed this guy. Whoa, there we go. That was a good takedown. Look at him. He eat that cricket. He eats a lot. Um, he's always hungry. <laughs> I would say. So, yeah. That's the uh, curly hair tarantula. All right. So let's move on. Get this guy back. He's a mean tarantula all the way, but I do recommend them. Next is one of my Asian Force Pokemons. I have two of them. This is one of them. So this is the second one I bought. Um, so here's my second Asian Force Griffin I've ever bought. I think I'm just getting like a collection of them. We can actually try to feed him as well. Let me let me get my super worms. Here's some more cages by the way we'll get into in a little bit. Super worms. Okay. Open these bad boys up. One sec. Alright. Got them open. Alright, we'll try to feed this guy. the tongs. I don't know what it is. These guys usually won't eat from your own hand. Oh, he's not hungry. Okay, well, we'll just move him over here then. Come on, bud. I need you to cooperate so I can get your hide back. These guys are a really good starter. Uh, Scorpion, by the way. They're probably like the second best other than the Emperor. Their close cousin. Um, you can see the colors on him. Nice black. He's got kind of a green tint to him as well, um, which makes him really cool. And he's really. This is my more docile one. He's acting mean right now, but usually he's way more docile than the other one. Um, you see, these are there. What's the, what are these called, man? Ch a chili, terithle, terithle. This is a terithle. Um, they move back and forth, kind of like a little, like a little saws, little claws. And they're one of the only animals that have them. And 
yeah, this guy's really cool. Here's his setup. It's a rock, um, pine, foliage, water dish. Uh, we can actually spring him down now. Let me... Nothing to hurt it. Okay. So that's the first Asian four scorpion. All right. Now let's go see. What's next? Do we want to do the Vietnamese centipede next? Sure. Why not? Um, these came out yesterday, but uh, if I can't. I live underneath the spoon. There he is, okay. I already see this on the screen movie. Well, so if you have to do this, yeah, you probably shouldn't with any other animal, but with Sinopi, you kind of have to. Come on, buddy. Come on out. All right, there he is. Oh, man, this guy is scary. He actually needs a mist on as well. Centipedes, if you didn't know, they can dry out. I just have to make sure you can try to get out because I'm going to have to put a little like, red seed back on So yeah, centipedes, if you didn't know, they can um, dry out. So you have to be very careful and keep them moist and humid. So if he tries to crawl out, um, so you have to keep them nice and humid. Um, this is my Vietnamese centipede. Uh, I ordered them off of Underground Reptiles and he's burning right now but yeah he's nice fat he's not gonna eat today but i'll make a feeding video when i make that feeding video at midnight but that's usually what my animals are out and they're hungry um i'm sure i'm eating but he's really cool <clears throat> as you can see very colorful of his oranges browns reds this is actually not their head, by the way. This is like their backside that they use as a head, as defense. If somebody grabs them, they'll flip them around, like, like that's their head. Um, these guys take on small mice. I'm thinking about starting to feed them small mice. When I do that feeding video, I might feed them with small mice for you guys. Um, but, yeah, they're cool. They'll actually go, they'll actually kill the mice, <clears throat> bury into it. And when they bury into it, um, they'll eat the insides and they'll just leave the hollow body. And yeah, these guys are really cool. I recommend them. They're just really deadly. Um, I would not recommend holding them because they can send you to the hospital. It's not an on record uh, case that these guys have ever killed somebody, but they have the potential to. So I wouldn't hold them, handle them, or really touch them at all with your hands. But yeah, it's a veterinary centipede. Let's go on to the next one. Okay. Put this guy back. I have to make sure his lid's going to close down because they are escape artists. Okay. This is my other Vietnamese centipede art. Yeah, four scorpion. This guy's set up somewhere different. He has like a high dog. Like, is buried into the subshade because like a couple inches down there. Um, this is the first one I ever bought. So he's really cool. He's really sentimental to me. He's like my first invert I've ever gotten. This guy right here. And I'm at a pet store and he's still doing great. The only thing I would probably buy from pet store, I want to buy reptiles, but inverts, eh. They're okay to buy. I mean, how can you really hurt an invert unless you keep them communally? But if you just keep them like a cage by themselves, you're pretty good off. I mean, they're not gonna probably do anything to you. Um, you can see his terrestrial right there. But this guy, it's great. Um, I really recommend Asian Floor Scorpions. I keep a lot of them on hand just because. Um, but, I'm gonna sign here. But yeah, this guy's great, and it's pretty much the two Asian four scorpions. <laughs> I have more scorpions, but this is those two. All right, let's close this guy up. 
And pretty much, by the way, pretty much everything I have now is um not pretty much everything I have now is wide. None of it's wild caught. Like my last videos and tours, a lot of it was wild caught. Everything I have now is bought. So yeah. Um, this is my Pinto Tarantula from PetSmart. I try to get some good color shots of him. He went underneath the web. These guys are really flighty, so. All right. That's the Pinto Tarantula. Looking beautiful like always. Um. These guys are awesome, man. You can hold them. They're really docile. Um, not gonna bite you. They really flick hairs. The only change that doesn't have to use their hind legs though to flick hairs. So um, they can just use those two spinnerets on the back too. But they they rarely kick them. Uh, you see his web. I do need to change all his water though. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, that's probably that water's good for today. I'll get him some more tomorrow though. Um, doesn't need fed right now. He's still kind of a baby. So I hope that's a she. I don't really know the sex of my, <clears throat> my tarantulas. Cause none of them have molted for me. What are you doing over there? Eating your cricket? But I hope that they're both females. That'd be great. Um, but yeah, not much more to say about this guy. His cage is on like two degrees. I'll link it in the description. It was like $30 off Amazon. Uh, great deal. I'm not a big fan. But yeah, there's not much more to say about this guy. Just a pink toe tarantula. Um, here's my crickets. That's my little cricket setup. I have oats on the ground. The water. I, I used a water bottle. I put the water crystals in there with the water and then they stay nice and moist so you can just squeeze them out to the little dishes. Uh, those needs changed out. Um, there's some dead crickets in there. I should probably clean those out. But I'm about to get some new ones so it really doesn't matter if they die or not. But uh, yeah, just toilet paper rolls, a little food bowl. Uh, yeah, these guys, I mean, they're just feeders. So there's nothing special about them. but. That's a female cricket. The little things to go on its back. And let me find, see if I can find a male cricket. And, uh, nope, seems like all I have is female crickets. Great. The reason I really like male crickets is because if you do live in the cage, they're a little bit smaller, so they're, they're not as at risk as hurting your invert. But um, they, the, the females, if they're pregnant they, they can only have their babies in soil so as soon as they get into your cage they're gonna plant their babies because they've been waiting so long as soon as they get in, they're gonna plant their babies in your reptile cage and you're not gonna know or your invert cage and then you're not gonna know and then like one day you're gonna go look at your cage it'll be like a hundred little baby crickets jumping around and it's not pleasant you have to clean out their cage immediately and it's not pleasant but it happens so not really anything you can do about it Unless you just don't leave them in there that long. Um, so I'll keep these guys over here. So I know they change our water. Oh. Uh, let's get on to that there. Ooh. So. This is my millipede and my desert hairy scorpion. Uh, let me open this up real quick. So this is my desert chocolate millipede. It has a little piece of celery that was just replaced. And he is right there. He's great. He's doing great. Um, not really much to say about him. He eats like a champ. Uh, water dish, all fake leaf, um, eco earth. Uh, not much to say about them. They are uh, vegetarians. So they only eat the herbivores, which means they only eat leaves and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's the millipede. Now, the desert here is scorpion. 
This is the Desert Hairy Scorpion. He is very tiny, as you can see. If you just look from like above, you really can tell he's there. Um, now, I do have a water dish in there, but they really don't need a water dish because they got all their water and nutrients from the insects to eat. Um, I feed these guys, this guy, baby doobie roaches, um, and he's fine with that. So. Uh, baby crickets, stuff like that. Uh, don't really feed them mealworms. Mealworms are really just not a good uh, thing for inverts because they like moving prey and they really don't move that well. So, um, yeah, a water dish, dry right now, but doesn't have to be filled up. And that's him. Look, look how tiny it is. I don't know. I don't know why he hasn't molted for me yet. I don't know what's taking him so long. It's like I don't know, like five months ago, but still hasn't molted, which is fine. Um, not really anything I can do about that. But that's all right, you know. That's like a baby. Well, the widening just got really like weird. Okay, but yeah, that is him, and he's great. So yeah. Let's put this little piece of cork bark. I like to move him out of the way first because I don't want to squish him because he's so little. And then I just pop that right there. I wouldn't recommend all of these guys because they can inflict a bite, which is not pleasant. Trust me, I've never bite them before. Well, it's not pleasant. It's not like an Asian forest bite. They're a little bit more painful and it's not great. So let's get the other one down. I just made a video on this guy. My vinegar. So this is my vinegar. He's doing great. Uh, not much to say about him. I'm kind of mad at him right now. Because when I was doing this cage set up and tour. Which I just posted. You can go watch the video to find out what happened. But I'll just tell you right now. Because it was pretty insane. Um, he did spray me with that acid vinegar stuff and that has a really bad smell to it and i do not recommend when i do that to you it's not pleasant um in this cage i just had the water dish rock uh eager earth one little pebbles rupti bark sphagnum moss and then ham um i just use a breeder breeding box medium for them um, it works well because they like to move around. So I just use this. It's a little bit easier to top it open too than these ones. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to talk a lot about him. So I just made that video. Go check it out if you want to watch that. If you want to know more about this guy. But yeah, it's pretty much it for this guy. One sec, I'll show you the rest. This is, so this is my amphibian, my eastern tiger salamander. This is the last animal before DB roaches. That's what you're here for. Okay, he is hungry. He lunged at the log, which he's never done. Um, this is him. He's great. Uh, okay, okay, he's bit my finger. Whew, sorry about that, you guys. Uh, he is hungry, so. I'm going to feed him because he's not like he's starving, so. Let's feed him some crickets, shall we? He's just a relaxing little mover, though. He's like, he's acting like he's like starving, even though he eats every day. Jeez, man. He acts like he's literally starving, so. Maybe he is, but I'll feed him one more and then he should be good for now. Feed him a little, him a little bit later. But you got to think you're so hungry, you're only going to take one cricket. Jeez, he's trying to watch it. 
Yeah. Got it. Mm. Okay. Take the dang cricket, man. You gotta be joking me, right? Alright, well, you're not getting it then. Well, he acts like he's starving and then literally doesn't even take the dang cricket. So. Put him in his water actually. It's a little bit dry. So, and by the way, what I'm about to do does not hurt them. So, if that's what you think, you can click off the video because this does not hurt them in any way. I just want him in his water. Okay, so this is a little bit dangerous, but he's so hungry. Here he is. Uh, yeah. His name's Squish. Squishy. Made a video on him. Care video on him. Come on, unfocus. Made a care video on him. Um, talking about what you need for these guys and the pros and cons of them. Um, if you want to know more about him, just go watch that. But yeah, it's Squish. Like Eastern Tiger Salamander. Uh, how much we're saved about him. I have a little temperature gauge on the cage. So tank, this is a 10 gallon. You go earth, uh, right to bark, little pebbles. Have a lot of these water for him to get easy access to get out. Fake foliage and a piece of cork bark. Um, so yeah, that's it with Squish. Let's just get on to the DBR roaches real quick. And we should be done with this tour. Whoa, okay, that apple looks horrible, so that needs to come out ASAP. We have a chance. Um, let me try to show you. I thought that was a baby DB roach, but it's not, okay. So here they are. Um, this DB roach bin, colony. Uh, not much to say about these guys. I breed them. Uh, here's some babies right here. Uh, it's not a lot of things you can say about DB roaches, really. They're just good feeders. Um, is that a dead DB roach? No, it's just an exoskeleton, okay. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I don't really know what to say about these guys. They're just dubio roaches, so. Yeah. Put on his back. This is a female, by the way. The ones with the little weeds. And that's a male with the big weeds. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing, please. Leave a like. Trying to get to 100 subscribers. I just got the 20. Just thank you for that, by the way. Um, but yeah, uh, you got to a nymph as well, so you guys know what they are. So here's a nymph, Doobie Roach. They're the ones that aren't sex yet. Uh, so basically, nymphs are Doobie Roaches that don't have wings or a hard exoskeleton yet. They're just nothing. They're not a sex yet. Um, so that's a nymph. Just calling up my hand. Get out of here, man. That's a nymph, Dubia Roach. And then the babies bury themselves. So I can't show you those. Um, but yeah, this will be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please like. I know I said this already, but please, please subscribe. And if you like, Inverts, uh, Vivians, care videos, subscribe. Look at this guy up on all fours. And thank you guys for watching.
Bye.